The Flintstones, 1960, Season 1, Episode 11. The Golf Champion. I murderize you. It's, a, it's my bucket. Stop running, you insect. Hi, Fred. Meet my new watchdog, Buzz Saw. Your new watchdog? Yeah, he's wonderful. He distinctly knows when someone doesn't like me. And he chases them. Good dog. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll tell him. Why is it, Bonnie? What does he want? He says he borrowed his watchdog. He wants it back. Then here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Approaching ATT, the finest. Ben Belroy, and Fred Finstone. Been a nap and turk battle all the way. Fred Sloan is still, Fred Sloan is still leading by two strokes. The winner, get the trophy, be champion in the annual tournament given by the level, where all the design stores will wait. With Ben on her, he'd be ready to tee off. Bit of a shot right down the middle of the fairway. And now, he and a bit of ram and a foot, his foot is 460 yard par four hole. And he was this at trouble by Ben Bowers' great tee shot, putting him per position for his second shot. Remember? Hi, Benny. You listening to the tournament? I would dare not to listen. Is it saying I hope Fred wins? I can't, I can, but I can take it or leave it. Fred wins, you'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, if Fred loses, you'll never hear the end of it. And here's Fred Finson, very calm. He's got a tough tee shot to beat. He's hit the one real thoughts. Here's Fred Finson to see, set his tee off again. Fred's a little nervous, just a little. He knows he's got his work cut out for him. Fred Finson hits a screaming line drive. Looks like Fred Finson's in trouble. Fred Finson's in trouble. Looks like Fred Finson's in trouble. Back to diagram for a look at the path. Take this impossible shot. This is a big question, for Fred Finson. Question is, should he take a penny shot or should he? How about that? Fred is going to play where it lies. We have just seen the greatest shot ever made. The ball's lying heading straight. The green passed right over it. Too bad. More hard up for Ben Fred, Fred Finstone. That depends on Ben Bower's next shot. Should be the Fred Stone Stone. Need a miracle to pull the game out of fire. He's going to give it the old college try. One thing about Fred Stone. He fighter doesn't know the mean the word quit. This is a tense moment, folks. For it's in, it's in. He's won. Hooray for Fred. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Nothing like this has ever happened before. It's a such a finish. Fred Stone Stone, a new champion, walking towards the chairman, the Kilman committee, to see the cup. They never had a more deserving champion. Wait a minute. So he's up. Barney Rubble, President of the Lodge. Apparently he wants to take his cup away from Fred Stone. Don't tell me they're at it again. They never quit. It's unbelievable. He's struggling over the cup. Let's ask one of the other members what this is about. You, sir, who me? Could you tell me what this is all about? It goes back to a meeting a month ago. The lodge was holding his annual election offices. We now proceed to the election of president. We all vote. You will vote either for Fred Flintstone or Bonnie Rubble. Mr. Chairman, what is it? Is it? Brother Flintstone, you know, I've been lodge president three times. Though I'm greatly honoured. I'd like to withdraw. Hope that Bonnie, with the Bonnie Rubble, be rejected unanimously. Me, second opinion, motion. Beat, come on, pal. Speak. Gee, this greatest honour of day, the day of my life. What an honour. A man I want to thank for it is Fred Finstone, my buzzer buddy. Close friend, a long life pal. Oh, Bonnie, cut it out. Bonnie to be a good present. Put on the knowledge back on its fate financially. There's only one way to do it by collecting due back dues. Believe me, that's what I hope you're going to do. That's the way to do it, Prez. Three cheers of Bonnie Rubble. That's what's that, that, that's what led up to first taking places between Fred and Barney. And you know, that, you mean it has something to do with blue back Jews? Get pictured? No, don't, you don't. It's the, it's the big idea, taking, trying to take the bait, take my cup. One torment makes a difference. Says the bylaw section 42. No moment should be taught to receive a charity. Says you pay, Jews are paid to date. A month overdue, and makes no difference. A month is a month. A thankless friend is a thankless friend. A lodge you member of doesn't want, want part, any part of it. And that goes to the cup too. Rules are rules. No Jews, no any trophy, no party hat. What about it, Fred? He's still on a rampage. More than worse than ever. By any name is mentioned in our house. Not only that, not only that member. I would like to speak to you. I see what you mean. But, he's a, but he can't last forever. Now listen, Fred. You listen to me. Bonnie Rubble is my enemy. He's married to him. Makes her my enemy. Oh, I'm afraid. Don't want you talking to the enemy. Hi, woman. I was doing the western front. 
The colonel general has been had a setback. Wants to move, but he can't find a house he can afford. But he's getting into what I've steamed up too. He might just as well blow a blow gasket. I have seen I had to deliver an ultimatum. I don't know Friend, was there anything back back that quote? A no good scrounger borrowed over the years. Unquote, come on in and help yourself. Do I need a truth for a truth? What you not that you like that you mean Yes, Fred. Good stuff. Here's all the stuff. You mean the can opener? Is that the stuff you borrowed? Yes. Do you like look in the attic? Yes. Garage? Yes. In the cellar? Yes. The sneak? I must have buried everything else. That's the answer. I like the food over at Rivals better. Fred? Yeah, Bunny wants his all his stuff back. Well, he does, does he? You can tell him for me. Any sign yet? Is he afraid of bringing back my, back my stuff? I don't see anything. Oh, the creature is stirring. Even a fat mouse like Fred Fullinson. Hold it, here comes a message. What does it say? Don't rush me. It says, Bear Betty. Fred says that if Bonnie sets foot in pro- Fred's property, they're calling. Does it make sense? No, wait a minute. Not to kill him. Kill him, sure. That makes sense. No, you're not scaring me. Now, Bonnie. Where's mine? Is mine. I tend to get it. Now, will you elect Bonnie? You won't lay your feet hand on me. I'm too fast enough. You're too fat. Bonnie, be careful. Don't worry. But check and see if I pay my last short premium. So in case you know, there's my bucket. And just where are you going with my property? Property, this is my bucket. You overlook one little detail. Water in that bucket happens to belong to me. I'm sorry, Fred, here you are. I murderize you. This is my bucket. Stop running your insect. Hey, Fred. What my my, 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 my news watchdog, Bugstar. Your new watchdog? watchdog? Yeah, he's wonderful. He sleepy knows when somebody doesn't like me. And he chases them. Good dog, good dog. Good to see him. Let's see, vet. V.E.T. Veterinarian. Oh, well, you hurry up, Wilma. There it is. Oh, yes. Okay, I tell him. Who is it, Bonnie? What does he want? He says you borrowed his watchdog. He wants it back, Fred? Yeah. Why don't you pay your blue back dues? You could you could get your cup. You could sign a peace treaty with the rebels. As if it's more leave ever after. Peace treaty? Just when I'm planning a counterattack. Okay, just an idea. I see more of my pro- I can see more of my property. Let's see, maybe you can turn the hose on him tonight. Let's leave him alone. Oh, so sorry, my ball. Did you say no sense? By my club, you know. T2. A beat of T2 on my head if I ever get you. Good dog. Will you try being friendly just for me? Go over and give Fred a cup. Then ask him in a nice way to give the, the juice he owes. Try it, but you know, Fred, it won't work. I really know it. I just know it worked. Fred's really sentimental. When he sees a cup, he offs someone up. When Barney gets, goes into that closet, his friend, puts a bunny left away, pal. Fred would break down and cry. In fact, Barney would break down to cry too. I've known him. A couple of sensible guys. They really love each other. That you, Barney? I told you that it wouldn't work. A nerve that little wonderful. Knocks on my door and says, Give me these little juice, you cheap skate. Or you won't get, don't get a cup. You got a couple right. Yeah. What do you want? I have it. What else? As far as as far as you go, Buster, I'm going to tell you what, once and only once. I go to Hammett. Okay, Fred, what are you doing in the refrigerator? Am I mind, pass of salt, Freddy, Freddy. No, break the cold air yet. In fact, they're getting a little chilly. I don't believe it. He called a missing link fence company. Nor the solid fence, fully fence, long fence, eight foot high. What did they say? They told him that he, of course, he said, forget it. They went out and got an estimate on a moat. Here he comes. Bye. Where are you, Wilma? Home, Wilma? Right here, Fred. That's all, that's all this stuff. I'm throwing a little party. I'm mean, glad to hear. We're going to have some fun around here for a change. Who's coming? Just a few boys. Boys like who? Me? Like Joe Brockhead. Joe Brockhead? I know, Mother, you hate him. I know, but he's just a cut right for the party. Where's Malcolm Colts? Bet Big Shot? Last time he was here, he broke a lamp. It's just right for the party. And who else? Sam, Pete. Eddie, Sam, Pete. And now, you know, the one who likes the darts all the time. You know him like, I know him well. Left head, thought Freddy, Charlie. That's what I'm at. Did you choose to close the portal? Dull, oh, very droll. I will ignore it. The animation this party is going to be like by the grass on New Year's Eve. Don't get it for simple. You know how rebels love, par- love parties. They hear the racket and smells of state will It'd be out of his mind, they'd take they'd make two of us. We're sorry to be ever started with me. Come on, let's get the party on the road. 
Start making sandwiches. All right. Thank you. Fellows all together. Was well, a man with fence then. All right. It's a little louder. One rubble to hear it. Hey, Fred. You sure know how to fry a party? Thanks, Charlie. Having another good time? Well, oh, yippee. I changed this record for you. Come on. Let's keep the party going. Enter, enter, boy. Held it, Mount. Thanks. Don't not mention it. How's that? Buddy, great, Fred. I love waltzes, yeah. Oh, the Wilma, yuck. What did you say? Eddie, is that a truck already? Red hot and ready, Freddy. Okay, you guys, drop the bonus of steak on the grill. One top soil in for ten, coming up. Boy, wait till Trip Barney gets a snip with for that beautiful bird green. Blow some smoke over the Barney's direction. Right, Fred, cutting me plenty to make that little shrimp mouth smaller. It's worth it. Come on, let's change the music and start things up. Look at that, Charlie, what a dancer. Charlie can dance on it to anything. Don't forget it takes two to tango. Well, Mr. Great, you excuse me, sure. Hello? Have you, I, you have to talk a little louder. Oh, hello. Sure, I'll take care of it. Bye. Who was it, Wilma? Betty. Yeah, I suppose Bonnie's begging to come to the party. You can beg all he wants to. You can beg on his hands and knees and not invite him. But he wanted me to just leave a note for the milkman. Not to bring it to, bring anything till Monday. He can beg, he can beg standing on his head. Monday? What do you mean, Monday? Brother's been away for the weekend. I mean, the sneak's not home? Nope. He's not smelling that steak? Nope. Not eating his pint? Nope. What's the matter with Vincent? He's all right. Hold it. Hold it, please, will you? Fellows, thank you. I rent up this party for a special announcement. Good old Fred. Oh, this well, an announcement, Fred. Get out, you freeloaders. All of you. Out. I think it's a great idea. The only thing that worries me is they find out that we did. I can't take another week of this. Is I try this anything. Okay, let's put Operation Buddy Buddy into work. We better work or we're dead. Betty, I'm here, Bonnie. Finally, Fred, finally give up. What do you mean? He paid back his dues back. He's a member of the good standing order again. Well, ain't that nice, but you know so, Bonnie? See, Fred? You see, Fred, I wouldn't mention anything about it. Sure, I get it. You know me. Tactful, diplomatic. Fred and Lodge, yeah. Wilma? Yes, Fred. Ta-da. Fred, you've got the cup. How did that happen? He got a hand in the cup and didn't say a word about the Jews. I don't know his bunny I know his bunny doing. Bunny, sure, the poor old little guy. He knows he can't get along without you. President of the Lodge without me, he'd advise him. He had to get me back. Betty him talked about it, get me get an honorary membership. Don't mention anything about it when you see him. You know what I mean? Sure I know what you mean. You know me, tactful to don't matter about it. You got the cup? Yeah. Ain't it beautiful, you know? Think, Barney. I show Bunny how, how big a man behaves. Go and see him. I go with you. Not remember, remember, don't worry, not a word. Bunny, brother Bunny. How are things at Lodge? Could be better, brother Brad. Yes, I know, but you give a hand. Say, I'd like to see the cup on your mantel where, where it belongs. Right with the champ. Where else, throw any rubble? Naturally, if I had played, I'd beaten your brains out, brother Flint, so you. Beat me a golf. Both hand in hand, time my band my back. You've got your time Put, put your gloves in your mouth, please. Any time, and after I beat you with that golf, I'll give you a bowling list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I'll beat you in a pool. And that, is that so? Yeah, you, that's so. But this is fighting. Yeah. Thank goodness they're friends again. Wilma, come on, Wilma. Open this door.